Hello, welcome to this section of Mastering Statistics. In this section, we're going to talk about the very important concept of the frequency distribution uh, in statistics. And uh, here's where we start to get into some topics that really are not hard at all, but a lot of students, when they start learning statistics, you get to a concept like the frequency distribution, and it sounds really, really um, hard. It sounds very difficult because it has a complicated sounding name. Frequency distributions are very easy to understand. We're going to go over them here. We're also going to do a little practice in the next lesson. And they're kind of integral to what we're going to be doing later on as well. So it's a very convenient way to represent lots and lots of data in one table. And so that's why we're going to learn about it. We'll also do some calculations with frequency distributions later on. And we'll also graph frequency distributions with something called histogram later on also. So these concepts, don't, don't just learn them and forget them. We need to know them for, for the future as well. All right, so frequency distribution. I want to write that down. Um, so it's called frequency distribution. All right, so let's go ahead and write that down. It's kind of a simple definition, but we're going to write it down. It is a table. Right, so that's really the most important thing. It's a table that divides data into groups. And we call these groups classes, right? So it, it divides data into groups we call classes and shows how many data values occur in each group. All right, so that's it. Frequency distribution, it's boiled down to this. It's a table, that's all you really have to know. When, when you talk, when someone talks about a frequency distribution or the book or the teacher or whatever says, hey, there's a frequency distribution. What you need to know is it's just a table. It's a, it's a table of information, right? Um, and it divides the data into groups. And we just call these groups classes, typically. Um, and it shows how many data values occur in each group. So this, this uh, definition doesn't make a lot of sense until I show you what one of these things look like. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to waste too much time um, talking about it. I really think that it's better to show you. So for an example, so here's an example of a frequency distribution. Let's look at the prices of computers in a store. So we all know we can go to the big uh, electronic stores and there's lots of different computers. There's probably a couple dozen different kinds of computers, right? And they're all at different price points. You can buy cheaper computers, they may not have as many features, but they'll be cheaper. And there may, there may be several models, several different kinds, different manufacturers, whatever of cheaper, less expensive computers. And then you have kind of the mid-range computers, which will be more expensive, maybe a little more features, kind of middle of the road. And there may be several different manufacturers in that price point, right, in that range. And then you might have the expensive computers, which are the top of the line, the really nice ones, the ones that really are the, the bleeding edge, cutting edge stuff, but they cost more. And there could be several manufacturers of the top computers as well. So if, if we were to go take a, a look inside of a store and figure out, well, how many computers are the cheap ones and how many computers are the middle of the road ones and how many uh, types of computers are the upper, upper tier, then we could list all that 